what's going on family back with another video i just want to share with y'all really really quick how important it is to be able to wake up to the truth and wake up to the enemy devices and how he's operating these last evil days so i'm gonna go right into it brothers and sisters i had another dream another dream that was slightly disturbing but pretty accurate with the end times um and the dream was a, a, a race war. If y'all don't know what that means or what I mean, what I'm talking about, race war. Black on white crime, white on black crime, white ver versus black. Hatred. I hate, I hate white people. I hate black people. This whole racism thing, a race war that's going on. The dream was so crazy because it was literally like a black group of mob people and white group of mob people at war with each other, collecting weapons, um, trying to burn each other up, you know, like past slavery time. Um, and chaos was, was happening. So chaos was happening throughout the entire dream. And by the end of the dream, nothing ended. It just kept going on and on and on. And I want to say this, I want to say this, that's what the enemy wants to happen. He wants us to focus on racism. He wants us to focus on this hatred. He wants us to focus on the media. He wants us to focus on his news. He wants us to focus on the deaths of, 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 of some of our brothers and sisters and, 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 you know, let us focus on how white people don't like us as a race and not focus on the word of the most high we all know the, the history behind this thing man you know it's not a i don't have to go long-winded about it we all know the history behind racism we know that you know how we our ancestors was brought here on slave ships uh you know and how we all got you know our ancestors got stripped from from their from from their life from from their normal way of living you know they got adapted to a new language that they never knew about they got and you know um engaged into things that their their culture cultural culture culture <laughs> um was never into you know um does that sound familiar that sound like biblical prophecy in the book of deuteronomy i had a discussion with somebody that one of my good brothers um concerning the explanation of Deuteronomy 28 because so many people you know saying that it's controversy controversial topic and it's negative or uh you know it's not true that uh the the the, the children of Israel are not the, the the children of Israel they're not black people or you know or or if they are who cares you know because salvation is for all you know, and I want to say that I want to say something about that. You know, in school, we had a history class to study history. And if you don't learn or study the history, you will fail that class. Potentially having to take that class over just like any other subject in school. OK, so let me ask you this question. Why is it bad when a black person are no longer blind? To the false information and wake up to realize who he is and whom he is and whose he is where his ancestors really originally come from and why you know so many people think that you know um when black people wake up and and, and don't sound like everybody else and you know they're waking up to the truth and waking up to who they really are they they, they think it's so negative and really, in reality, all an individual is just trying to do is just trying to get closer to the Most High God. To try to understand the stuff that's been lied to us for years, for decades, man. And I don't think nothing is wrong with that. Now, how does that play with salvation? It plays in salvation because it plays an intricate role in who, in who Jesus is. Or Yahshua. Right? The reason why I say that is because, you know, it's been we know there's been so many false... Uh, advertisements out here in the world concerning Jesus, concerning his image, concerning what he stands for. People have made Jesus soft. They have made him 
a, a weak messiah. Like he he just he's some type of soft person, you know, and they have created false images, having him look like someone that he's not, you know. But then people start waking up to the truth and realize who the Messiah truly was and what he stand for and who he connects with. It's a problem. Don't get mad at me for biblical proof, biblical doctrine that shows proof of who we are in the Bible. A lot of people in church, a lot of pastors preach on, you know, um, us being connected to Abraham and us being connected to uh, uh, Adam and Eve and, you know, these things like that. Well, if that is true, that means that we have to understand and ask ourselves, who are we in the Bible? See, these tribes in the Bible are not just people because in the book. Us, everybody in the world today. We are a part of those tribes. We are a part of those people. We are related to those important people that we know of in the Bible. We all know that, you know, uh, Jesus was a, you know, a Hebrew or Jesus was a part of the tribe of, you know, uh, Judah. And and, and um, we all know that, you know, but I think that. We know that, but we get fearful. We get fearful when this truth come out. We get fearful of, of, of the awakening to the black man knowing where he comes from and who he's connected to. Now, let me mind you, add you. Let me let me say this to you, that we have to be careful as well. Black people have to be careful as well because we 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 can take this information and we can become so bitter, we can become so angry, we can become so bashful when we find this stuff out. And then we lose the whole sight. The mo we we lose the whole importance of of the goal in the end. And that's when you find this truth is to enlighten others, but also share the gospel with it the same way, the same time. There's nothing wrong with knowing where you come from. There's nothing wrong wrong with studying the history behind your ancestors, your people, but also understand that the gospel of Yahshua Hamashiach, Jesus the Messiah. Is the ultimate goal, the ultimate important thing in the end. And when you focus on that, then you will understand, you, you will understand everything around you. It's not our fault that European people or other race don't like us. You know, but also, even though it's not our fault, we also have to understand why they don't like us. We have to understand that. Because being a part of the Israelites, being a part of the chosen, it, pushes, it positions you into a place with the most high that, that other nations can be positioned to. Now, also, can all nations be saved? Yes. Yes. I don't want y'all to think I'm trying to put this video out to explain that only the Israelites can be saved. Only black people can be saved and no other race can't be saved. That's foolishness. The Messiah came for all race. All I am saying is don't get mad at me when I start understanding the history and how history of black people connect with biblical prophecy. That's all I'm saying. So when you're wondering why these race wars happening, when you wonder why uh, the, the European or the white people or the Caucasian race or other people don't like us, you will understand why. Since the beginning of time, the Israelites have always had some other group of people trying to enslave them and trying to uh, um, prevent them from getting to the, the promised land. All this has been happening since day one. So if that been happening since day, day one, what do you think is still happening today in today's time? So I tell you, my brothers and sisters, when you understand this truth, when you wake up to this truth, use it to share the gospel. Use it to share it in love. Don't be hatred. Don't be don't have H hatred. Excuse me. Don't be mad. OK, even though we understand that other people don't like us or if they're having races in them, we don't want to end up being how they are towards us and we become racist. Because the chosen people of God have never been hatred people. We have never hated other people. We always, we always acted in love. 
But we also been quick to be so deceived and start worshiping other gods, pagan gods. So it's time for us to be able to take the blind eyes off and walk in true conscience, which is the conscience of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, which is from the Messiah himself, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. So I tell you guys, focus on what's more important. Don't let these race wars, uh, with the media get the best of y'all and, 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 and make y'all be so hatred and, and mad and, and cause chaos in the land. So we won't be able to truly wake up to where he wants us to wake up to. And that's really lit, doing his will. And that's sharing the gospel across the whole world. So I love y'all. Stay focused. Let's come together, y'all.